Hey y'all, here's my thoughts on the US military. Okay, so it's been in my family. My brother was in the National Guard. My stepdad was in the Air Force. My stepbrother's currently in the Navy and I feel really sad for him being in the Navy because I'm always worried that he's gonna die and he has two daughters, so I really hope he doesn't. And I'm always wondering what his missions are, but he's not allowed to, he can't discuss it. But um, anyways, I've always felt like, <laughs> What is the point of our military? Why do we have such a ginormous military? Why do we have so many soldiers that are just doing drills, I guess, on all the different military bases all day? For what? Like we're just like waiting for a war <laughs> to go and kill people. It's kind of sad if you think about it. Um, yeah, like what's the point of our US military? <laughs> and I was just thinking about listening to an Alex Jones show about how with the British they said that the sun never set on the British Empire and so it was like their goal which I was always very interested in because I'm like half British English whatever but um, I think it was their goal to like own the entire world right so I'm wondering if that ideology has been passed down now to America and that's why we have such a big military because like we're hoping to rule the whole world rule the whole world and like take over the whole world and I'm wondering if that's like behind this whole Ukraine Russia thing like are we hoping to like take over Russia and then like go on from there and take over all the countries I don't know like it seems like that's our goal but if that's not our goal then we should just leave them all alone you know we should just leave all the other countries alone and if they want to fight with each other just let them fight you know like that is their deal that's if that's what they want to do because they're like bored and they want to entertain themselves with like non-stop war just let them do it but like why do we got to get involved you know like why is it our issue too why are we making their problem our problem right that's just something that I've always thought of like why do we get involved with all these other countries and their conflicts and then we lose our soldiers and our weapons and our money and tax dollars how I feel like if we're gonna be involved in every other country, I think we should be like sending them food. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? If instead of taking life and killing people, we were actually bringing life. Like why can't our soldiers, instead of like going over and shooting people, why don't we go take them some food, like some rice or some bread or something, you know? Why don't we spend money on food for other countries instead of ammunition and rockets and nuclear like why do we do all that why do we do all that why don't we try and feed everybody you know ah <sighs> I've always had a heart for the homeless and for feeding the homeless you know I think it's something that everybody should have on their heart that you know we should be taking care of the poor in some way in some way if you're blessed you're not just blessed for yourself, you're blessed so that you can bless other people. And I feel like that's how we should be as America. We should be blessing other countries. Like, we have extra. Why don't we help feed the rest of the world rather than go to war with the rest of the world? Like, wouldn't it be better if we just, like, feed everybody <laughs> instead of kill them? Just a thought. <clears throat> you know, just a thought. Uh, it's just something that I've always thought about, you know, and then you, you, like my whole life, you know, you've seen these commercials about these starving children in Africa and you're just like, why? Like, why are they starving? Like, don't we care at all? And then we have this excessive wealth in America where some people have millions or billions of dollars. Why don't we distribute the wealth? Why don't we distribute the food, you know? And then you got Americans getting like pretty overweight, which is obviously bad because it leads to diabetes and all kinds of health issues. The problem could be solved if Americans eat less and then we give other people more. But the problem is how do we distribute that wealth? Because obviously everybody could sponsor a child through World Vision or give to an organization, but how do you know that that money is actually gonna go to the starving people a lot of times it just goes to the person who's running the organization and they get rich so there needs to be like there needs to be like accountability with 
the people actually getting the money and getting the food that need it and not just the person running the organization. That's why personally I've never given a whole lot to these organizations because you don't know. You don't know if it's shady or not. But, you know, why can't we regulate that? like our government instead of just focusing on getting involved in all these wars why can't we regulate stuff like